We're interested in the problem of olfaction. We want to understand what's happening in our brain when we're smelling an odor, when we use that information to be able to direct, control our behavior. Smell, chemo sensation, is a sense, ancient sense that we share with most animals. To study it, you have to consider the complexity of our brain, and here we're talking about billions of neurons in humans. Of course, that's a problem that's very complex. If you want to understand what each neuron involved in this process, how each neuron is contributing to the representation of an order, to the use of that information to control behavior, that makes a very complex, almost intractable problem in humans. So we decided to start with an animal having a very simple nervous system with a number of neurons which is tractable. That animal is a fruit fly, and a fruit fly at a very early developmental stage when it's just a larva. The nervous system of the larva has only 10,000 neurons, which is about 10 million times simpler in terms of neuron numbers than as humans. And uh, the magic with flies is that we can monitor, we can manipulate the function of nearly every single neuron of its nervous system. And that's what we did. The nose of the larva contains only 21 olfactory sensory neurons. Those are the neurons which are representing the order, the orders which are part of the olfactory environment of the larva. The larva is trying to find its way to the source of an order based on the activity of those 21 neurons. Using a genetic trick, what we did is we reduce the function of those 21 neurons to just one. And we monitor the activity of that neuron when it's detecting changes in a, say, banana order, as if the larva is navigating towards the banana. The larva reaches the source of the order, the banana, based on a fairly simple algorithm. It's either moving straight, moving towards the banana, or when it's moving away from the banana, when the concentration of the banana order is decreasing, it stops and it turns, it changes its orientation. We hypothesize that the mechanism controlling this behavioral change is one where um, the information from the olfactory sensory neuron is modulating the trend, the probability that the larva will switch from a run to a change in orientation. To test this hypothesis, we developed a model, a mathematical model, to capture that relationship. And this model um, allowed us to make very accurate prediction of the behavior of the larva when it's navigating an order gradient. The model tells us about basic principles of computation that are taking place in the brain of the larva, how the sensory information from the periphery is transformed into behavior, into some form of motor output. But this is not telling us how this computation is achieved by the neurons in the brain. Those neurons will form a circuit. And now what we're doing is we're looking for the circuit which are implementing all those computational principles. And our hope is that the circuits that we'll identify will have um, principles in terms of function which are very general and that can be um, applied to understand the function of more complex brains like human brains. 